This is a permaculture food forest. This Jacksonville couple grows everything they eat right here in their own yard. Permanence in culture is the goal of permaculture, hence the word permaculture. The key is we nourish the soil and that puts millions of worms and micro life to work for us. So they're doing all the work. It's less energy going in over time for more yield coming out. We need to have all the different kinds of plants, like in a family, in a community, we need different people that do different jobs and it makes our life easier so we don't have to do everything. We try to regenerate the land with what we have with plants. So we grow certain plants, like this one for example, just to cut down and throw on the ground to feed the trees next to it. So in a sense we're using plants to help us regenerate a totally desertified land because this was just a monoculture of grass that people parked on. So it was essentially a compact desert. You know, now it's super rich and if you could dig a couple inches down and see nothing but worms. So the land is regenerating itself on its own. We're just kind of like nurturing it along and helping it out. Permaculture gives you a, a toolbox of tools to use. So we do things called swales, with it, which is nothing but a, a ditch on contour filled with mulch. And this helps the rain that does fall penetrates farther into the landscape and, and you mulch over and, and eventually over time you form a lens underneath the ground of moisture. And the trees, they don't need irrigation because they can tap into this moisture. So over time your labor becomes less and less as your food forest becomes more productive. We work with the forces of nature as opposed to against them where most people work against the forces of nature by mowing everything down and clear cutting land. And it's really hard to maintain a piece of land that way because the planet wants to really reforest itself. Anywhere you just let um, a landscape go, it grows back naturally on its own at a pretty rapid rate. And we tap into that energy that's already here. The full potential of permaculture is being experimented on on a global level. I heard one time Bill Mollison, the father of permaculture, the guy who put together the, the actual term permaculture, he obtained uh, eight acres of yield off of one acre. And he challenges any of his students to do the same. So instead of just having one acre of land growing one crop, he's growing eight different levels and obtaining eight acres worth of yield off of one acre. So if you ask any farmer if they want one acre worth of yield or eight acres worth of yield, obviously they're gonna say eight. So I think that's a pretty good um, idea of what permaculture can do. It's diverse, it's food, it's shade, it's building materials, craft materials. It feeds the soil, it feeds us, it's habitat for wildlife. It's paradise and you can grow it anywhere. The web is a wealth of knowledge about permaculture. It's really it's really full of great ideas, um, but I would say start out your back door and plant a garden right out your back door. Start small, baby steps out, and next thing you know, you'll have a productive food forest like this. So if we did another eight, we could put it right there. Permaculture workshops are offered all over the world. Some are weekend classes, like this one, sponsored each year by Permaculture Jacks. Others are live-in programs, offering hands-on immersion in all aspects of sustainability from natural building and energy conservation to community building and regenerative gardening. Trees actually love to grow on what's left of the old trees. Okay, so there is no waste in permaculture. So you have three ethics. First ethic is care of the earth. Second ethic is care of the people. And the third ethic is return of surplus. And so to me, permaculture is just, it's, it's just an encyclopedia heading that has all the good ideas under it. And that's what I'm going for. These, these ideas come from indigenous people and from centuries of traditional um, people. They're not somebody, somebody didn't just write this book and say, oh, this is my idea and this is what's smart and everybody else is an idiot. This is basically, the guy has compiled all the greatest ideas and the traditions and the heritage of the human race and is putting it all together in one place. And if you find something new, drop it under the heading so everybody else can find it. That's, that's what it's all about. As I eat food out of my garden, I actually get better soil, which sounds crazy to people, but I promise you, 3,000 years of empirical data prove it. To learn more about local permaculture, follow Sustainable North Florida online or any of our social media pages. You can also follow Jacksonville's Permaculture Network on meetup.com.